guys and welcome to a tutorial video on how to set up a Feed the Beast server in 2017. So, you're probably wondering, because since Feed the Beast has been updated, they've now been affiliated with Kurtz. So now instead of having the classic Feed the Beast launcher, you now get a brand new um, Kurtz launcher, which is very nice, but the only problem is, there isn't really much server support um, for any of the packs on the Kurtz launcher. So if you want to set up a Feed the Bees server, you can't really with Curse. So I'm going to show you how to set up a server, even though they have this new launcher. So I'm just about to point out before we start the video, guys, I'm not going to be showing you how to port forward your internet or anything like that. If you want to fi like find that out, you will have to look at another video. If you want to sort of port forward your internet to be able to set up a server, I'm just going to be showing you how to actually be able to start the server in the first place. So what you're going to want to do is go to the Feed the Beast website, I'm going to leave this link in the description below, and you'll see this download button, and most people will just, just click this, which will, you know, give you the nice new curse launcher. But if you want to be able to set up a server, you're going to have to click on the legacy um, version for either Linux, Mac, or Windows, whatever operating system you're on. And once you've downloaded it, you're going to want to open it on the desktop. So just as a test, I'm going to be... Um, using the dial 21.10 pack, so as you can see, even though it is the old launcher, all the things are still here, you've still got all the new packs, like Feed the Beast Beyond, the dial 20 pack, and all the new packs, and what you'll notice on the old launcher is it has the download server button, which isn't on the um, new curve launcher, so what you want to do is follow this, and then you're going to want to either save it or do whatever you want with it, so yeah, I'm just going to pause the video guys, and I'll be back when it's downloaded. So as you can see guys, once you um, download it, you'll be presented with a zip file. I will leave a, a link to WinRAR in the description below if you want to download that, which is the program I'm using to view this. And what you want to do is extract all of these files into a folder. I'm going to put them in this folder I created called Test Server. So it may take a bit of time depending on the speed of your computer. But as you can see, now if I open it, you're going to want to run the Feed the Beast install window which as you can see it's going to progressively you know, install all the files that it needs. So yeah, this may take a bit of time, like I said, depending on the speed of your computer, but there you go, mine's done. And then you're going to want to hit the server.start um, file. Now, this is where a lot of people can get stuck, because basically it tells you at the, stop at the top of the window, the server is basically the startup says will fail. And like, a lot of people tend to miss that, and this is where a lot of confusion can happen. So what it's going to do is it's going to go through and generate all the files that it needs. The only problem is, um, it's going to basically crash at the end. And if you try and run it progressive, like continually, it will just continually crash. So I'm going to let all the files, you know, I'm going to let it create all these files and do what it needs, and then we'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so the server window basically closed, and it gener it's generated all the files that's needed. But it's not actually going to go ahead and run the server for you in its current state. As you can see, if I run it, it says make sure you read the ULA.txt before playing. So what you want to do before you run the server is read the ULA and change this false to a true value. Because what's basically happening is this is the end user license agreement, and you basically you need to agree to it to start the server. So I'm now going to start the server, and as you can see, the server is now starting, whereas before it didn't. So it's going to you know generate the rest of its files that it needs, and yeah. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to run the um, Feed the Beast pack, and we'll be right back once it's loaded up. Okay, guys, so we, we are now in Minecraft, and what you're going to do now is go to multiplayer, and, you know, standard usual, call the name whatever you want, and just put in to the address, just put in local host. And with a default setup, you should then be able to connect to your server, and you can then join. Now obviously, you know, it is standard usual that people don't want to connect to you, providing you port forwarded. Um, people, obviously, um, you know, that on, on your local internet should have to connect via your public IP address. Also, people who are on your internet can use the local IP4 address. But yeah, that's basically the gist of how to create a server. So as you can see, I've just created my server, and I've now been able to log in, and here we go. So as you can see, we're now on the um, dial of 21.10 pack. Everything's loaded in, and I'm now on my Feed the Beast server. So yeah, 
Um, and to my knowledge, I do believe the people who are using the Curse Launcher and the Feed the Beast Launcher interchangeably, it doesn't matter which one you use to actually load up the game, um, the clients are identical. So whether you use the Curse one or the Feed the Beast one, you should be able to connect to um, the server. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. I've, I've been Peter Plum, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. But yeah, I've been Peter Plum, goodbye guys.